Hello. In this video, we'll discuss how to navigate the digital archive collection of the General State Archives of Greece, also known as the GAC. This is the home page of the website, gac.gr. To access the digital collection, scroll down until you come to this icon on the left side of the screen. Click on the icon and you're taken to a page which introduces the digital collections. If you're not fluent in Greek, it's helpful to have a translate icon installed on your browser. Up here on the right, I use Google Translate. When I click on the translate icon, I'm going to click from Greek to English. You'll see that the page automatically converts to English. Although the translation may not be perfect, it's usually good enough so you can understand the context. Now let's click on the digital archive icon again. This takes us to the home page of the digital collections. On the left side, the regional archive offices are listed. The digital collections vary by office. Some have numerous collections online, while others have only a few. Select the office of interest to you. Today, I'll click on Laconia. When I do, you'll see that I am now on the page for the archives of Laconia. All the digitized collections are listed. At the top, we see that there are 101 items listed on this site. If I need help translating the names or descriptions of these folders, I highlight the words and I click on the translate icon, which comes up right here. And you can see that this is books and documents for the plan of the stadium of Sparta. So this icon to translate is extremely helpful to me. Notice that this folder is gray, these are yellow, and these folders are gray as well. The gray folders mean that there's no additional information and no digital images online. There is only a description of the collection. If this is a collection of interest to you, you'll need to contact the archives for more information. But the yellow folders with the green plus means that there is additional information and possibly digital images online. Let's look at this second collection right here. I'm going to go ahead and highlight it. And I will read it in English. Archive of the Prefectural Inspector of Physical Education, et cetera, et cetera. OK, so let's just go ahead and take a look at this and see what it is. I'll go ahead and click on it. And you'll see that there is a little more description up here. There's some identifying information here. We can learn here there are 64 folders. And I can click on contents. And I see that there are 64 files, but they're all gray. So unfortunately, if this is a collection that's of interest to me, I would have to contact the archives of Laconia, located in Sparta, to ask a little more information about this particular folder because these are not online. Let's go back to the main page and try a different collection. So I'm going to click on this little yellow icon, which returns me back to the main page um, for the archives of Laconia. Let's go ahead now and let's try, hmm, what am I interested in? I am really interested in notary records. So I'm going to kind of scroll down here, and I am particularly interested in the collection of Costondinos Dimopoulos, which I have heard is online here. In fact, I heard that when I was at the Archives of Sparta recently. So I scroll through, and sure enough, here he comes up right here towards the end of page three. Now I'm happy because I see a yellow folder with a green plus. So I'm hoping that there will be digital images in this collection. I go ahead and click. Here is some general information about the collection. I click on contents and I see there are 26 folders. 
Let's go ahead and click on file one to see what happens um, and what's available there. Again, here's a description of the collection for file one. If I want to translate this, I'll go ahead and highlight it. And I'll click my little translate button. And you'll see that these are obviously notary deeds, different types. Um, obviously, it's a notary collection. And so I would expect that. Let's go ahead and drill into contents and see what else is available. In this one folder, file number one, there are 350 individual items. Again, um, I do have Google Translate on, and you can see that some of these descriptions are in English. Some of them are in Greek. It's, it's, it works, but quasi. Um, sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't. But if there is one that I want to know a little bit more about, again, I'll highlight it. I'll click on it. Notarial deed, olive tree, and wild olive tree contract. That sounds really interesting, doesn't it? However, there are no names given for these items. Um, so unfortunately, I would have to go into each one. This is item number one under file one for the Costantinos de Mopolos notary collection. Here's a description. Um, and here are the reproductions. Now, this particular item has two pages. When I click on the image, you can see that it pops up. I can do a couple of things with this image. Number one, I can click on the crosshairs and I can use my mouse button, my scroll uh, button on the mouse to make this larger. And you can see the resolution is really quite good. And if my uh, reading, ability to read Greek was better than it is, I would be able to read this document or at least be able to pick out the names. The other thing I can do is I can click on the print icon. This gives me the option to print my document or to save it as a PDF. Now, if I download this document, I myself personally would prefer a JPEG file over a PDF. So what I will do is I will right click on the image itself and I'll go ahead and click on save image as and save it to my computer. Now let's go ahead and navigate backwards. We're on item one, file number one. If I wanted to go to the other items in file number one, I would click there and you'll see I'm back to where we started with 350 items. If I want to go back to the whole collection of Costandinos Dimopoulos, I would click on his icon and you can see I'm back, I'm going back layer by layer. And if I want to go back to the archives of Laconia itself, I would click on that button, which takes me back to the beginning. Now, I do want to make a point that many of us are interested in navigating this for many reasons, um, not only to see what's in our archive of interest, but also to try to find election lists. I want you to know that election lists are not found in these individual archive folders. They're state collections, so they are under the Central Services Archive. Let's go ahead and access them by clicking on Central Services Archive. Then I want to navigate down to page three. And again, you'll see an interesting mix of English and Greek here on the descriptions. And let me go down to page three. Now I'm going to look for the word eklogika, which means election. And I see here eklogika uh, for Lada. This is the Lada collection, the oldest collection in the Greek archives. Then we also have the parliament collection here, again, an old collection. And the Vlako Yanis collection, the later ones from 1872, is the last collection on this page. So depending on which of these collections you're interested in, let's stick with the Vlako Yanis. Go ahead and click on the name. And we follow the same instructions as we did before. Um, this is our collection information right here. 
a little bit of the history, I might be interested in this. So I'll click on that and I'll click on my translate icon. And it gives me a little bit more information about this Vlahoyanis collection. And of course, there's much more as I scroll down here. I'll go ahead and click on the contents. And here is where I am in the election registers. And this is very interesting too. There are some mail registers from a particular area here. And if I can't read that very well, I will click on it. And I'll see that it's registers of mails from the provinces of Cardiza and Sumerga. Okay, well, we're here to look at the election registers. So let's stick uh, to that. I'll go ahead and click on series one election registers. And again, there's more information here under the content and structure area. So I'm going to highlight this. I'll go ahead and click on my Google Translate. And this gives me the areas of this particular collection for 1872 Vlachoyanis. It looks like it covers almost all of Greece. So I'm really excited and I'm ready to dig into this. The way I do that is remember, we go ahead from one level to another. So from the elements and the description, I go into the contents and right away, I see that this collection is sorted by area or by province. So all I do at this point is choose my province of interest and I began to drill down. Let's say I'm interested in the village of Arni on the island of Andros. Here is Andros right here. And the description tells me that there's election registers for the municipalities of Andros, Arni, Gavio, and Cordio. So let me go ahead and click on this since it's my area. Um, I'm looking here and I see the dates, 1865, 71, 72, and 89. So that means I'm, in my mind, I need to be really careful to look and make sure which date am I looking at for these particular records, because these records could be different for the four different areas here on Andros. I'll go ahead and click on reproductions. And voila, here we are. Here are the election lists. Now, I scroll through these images until I find the Demos of Arnis, which is the municipality of Arni. It starts on page seven, because I've done this previously. So I'm going to go ahead and click on down until I get to page seven. And here, if you notice, there is a blank page, well, sort of blank. I could tell here that I've moved from one municipality to another because it's separated by a header page. This particular one says election catalog for the Demas Ardney year 1872. In order to access the actual catalog, I can just go ahead and click the forward arrow. And here we are. This is the men eligible to vote in that village. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger by clicking on the cross arrows using my scroll button. And you can see that the names are very easy to read. And we have here the name of the voter, his father's name, his age, and his occupation. So this is how you access the election list. I want to highly recommend that if this is your village, please take the time to download all of the images for your village. The GAC website, unfortunately, does go down unexpectedly and without notice for maintenance or just for technical problems. So if this is your village, first of all, you're going to want to look through all the names in that village. And secondly of all, I'm sure that you will want to have them on your computer for your own reference. Remember that election lists that are name indexed are now online. The 1872 Yanis collection, this collection for all of Greece is online at MyHeritage. And the Lada and Parliament collections are online at GreekAncestry.net. If you have a question about any of the collections from any of these archives, 
you'll need to contact that office um, for additional help. As you use this website, you'll become more comfortable in understanding its structure and in navigating the various folders. Remember that the translate icon is a great help to you. I wish you much success as you continue your Greek research and especially as you use these digital images in the Greek State Archives.